At that same moment, an abbot at a rural monastery in what is now the Czech Republic was trying to become a science professor. Gregor Mendel flunked his qualifying exam both times. The only career path open to him was to become a substitute teacher. So in his spare time, he took up the study of pea plants. He bred tens of thousands of them, carefully scrutinizing their height and their shape and the color of their pods, their seeds and flowers. Mendel was searching for a predictive theory of breeding so that you could know in advance exactly what you would get when you crossed a tall plant with a short one and a green pea with a yellow one. Mendel found that you would get a yellow pea every time. We didn't have a word for the power of the yellow over the green until Mendel coined it. He called that quality dominant. And to his delight, he found that he could predict what would happen in the next generation of peas after that. One in four pea plants would be green. Mendel named the hidden trait that popped up in the next crop recessive. There was something he called factors hidden inside the plants that caused particular characteristics. And they operated by a law that Mendel could describe with a simple equation, like gravity. Charles Darwin and Gregor Mendel didn't know it, but the two scientists were deciphering the mysterious workings of life at the very same moment.